Well, hello. Now, if I had a neater video set up here, at this point, there would be a nice test pattern on this monitor uh, to introduce the whole thing. But I don't have such a neat setup, so we will proceed without one. The uh, title of this one. In Matthew, is there any direct assertion when's the resurrection? Now, note the limitation of scope. You have to go through things with limited scope and steps, I think, or we won't make progress in this discussion. I realize, and I'm deliberately not dealing with the topic of uh, is there uh, an implication, a logical inference in Matthew when's the resurrection. Uh, that will be for another episode. Well, uh, it turns out that really there aren't all that many direct references to the resurrection of the dead, the final eschatological resurrection of the dead as opposed to the resurrection of other parties such as Jesus or those who were miraculously raised in the gospel ministry. This is it, really, just these six verses which I'm not going to turn to, but you can pause the video and look at each one of them. Two verses in Matthew 12. Four verses in Matthew 22. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to turn to each one, but let the reader do so and ask verse by verse, is there a time proof there in the way of direct assertion when's the resurrection? Whatever the viewer may conclude, I've looked at each one of these and the answer for these six verses is a uniform no. There is no direct assertion of when's the resurrection. Now, Interestingly enough, in my study, I came up with something I thought was kind of neat, and I will share with you, and it bears upon the issue of physicality. This involves turning to just the first two. Here in the KJV, 1241 and... 1242. And look at this. You know, uh, the man of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon in here. I just read that from the KJV. In studying this, I found it extremely interesting. The KJV is uh, not as literalistic at this point as it could be and translates the verb here rise and uh, it translates here the verb rise up. Now um, this is an interesting verb uh, perhaps further study would indicate how often this is used in the New Testament for 
the general resurrection, the resurrection of the dead, but uh, only here in Matthew. And note the equivalence. Um, the verb used here is different than the verb used here, which I believe is more typically used in the New Testament of resurrection. Well, again, further study. But note this, um, you know, kind of like a Christian reform pastor, you look at your uh, Bible concordance, you look at your language resources, where else does this occur? And what do you know? Right in the same book, it occurs in chapter 9, verse, time, verse 9, that same uh, verb here. As Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at receive custom, and uh, he saith unto him, Follow me, and he arose and followed him. Same verb. And uh, I think, again, this reinforces the overwhelming uh, terminology uh, indication you get from Bible, from New Testament that the resurrection is a physical event. Uh, it's not souls or bodiless spirits, bodiless souls, bodiless spirits that uh, rise as Matthew did using this Greek verb. It's bodies, of course. And... Um, if there's some sort of resurrection that I'm supposed to believe in that doesn't involve physical bodies, but they um, rise, nevertheless, I don't know if that has any distinct meaning. meaning. Um, before I close, I might also say that a more literal translation, which I like for common reading, translates the verb differently uh, and literalistically in 1241, not shall rise, but shall stand, see, which led me to start thinking about, whoa, this is a rather physical term, isn't it? Well, that will do for now. You know, stand, as the ASV translates it, a um, radical, rather physical involving bodies sort of term, is it not? That's all for now.